All right, today we're going to be hitting a half court shot with the best player on every single NBA team. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button down below. But let's just get into it. For each team, we're just going to take the highest overall player. I'll tell you guys their overall three point and how many attempts it takes. I won't show all the attempts because this video would be like three hours long if that was the case. Starting off for the 76ers, we got Joel Embiid, a 92 overall, a 77 three point rating, and it took him eight attempts attempts to hit a half court shot for the bucks we have Giannis and Teta Kumpo with 97 overall 73 three-point rating and it took him 14 attempts for the bulls we have Zach Levine an 85 overall 83 point rating and it took him 22 attempts to hit a half court shot the longest of any player so far by quite a bit for the Cavs, we got Andre Drummond, an 84 overall with a 53 point rating. And it also took him 22 attempts, tying with Zach Levine with a way lower three point rating. For the Celtics, we have Jason Tatum, a 91 overall, 87 three point, and it only took him two attempts to hit the half court shot. For the Clippers, we have Kawhi Leonard, 96 overall, 82 three point rating, and it also took him two attempts to hit the half court shot. For the Grizzlies, we have John Morant, 85 overall, 81 three point rating, and it also took him two attempts to hit the half court shot. For the Hawks, we have Trey Young, an 89 overall with an 85 three point rating, and it took him eight attempts to hit a half court shot. For the Heat, we got Jimmy Butler in 92 overall with a 78 three-point rating, and it took him five attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Hornets, we got Gordon Hayward. He's an 83 overall uh, with an 81 three-point rating, and it took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Utah Jazz, we have Rudy Gobert, who's actually one overall higher than Donovan Mitchell, coming in at an 88 overall with a 25 three-point rating. It only took him one attempt to hit a half-court shot. For the Kings, we got De'Aaron Fox, an 85 overall. He has a 74 three-point rating, and he took 24 attempts to hit a half-court shot, the highest out of any player so far in this competition which is kind of surprising you would not think it would take De'Aaron Fox that long uh, for the Knicks we got Julius Randle he's an 83 overall 77 three-point rating and it took him three attempts to hit a half court shot for the Lakers we got LeBron James our highest overall in this competition 98 overall 83 point rating and it took him six attempts to a half court shot for the Magic we got Nikola Vucevic uh, 87 overall, 84 three-point rating. It took him seven attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Mavericks, we got Luka Doncic uh, coming in at a 93 overall, 75 three-point rating. And it only took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Nets, we got their newest addition in James Harden. He was actually one overall higher than Kevin Durant. He was a 97. Kevin Durant was a 96. So we have to go with James Harden here. He has an 87 three-point shot, and it only took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Nuggets, we got Nikola Jokic coming in at a 93 overall. He has an 84 three-point rating, and it only took him one attempt to hit this shot. So tying with Rudy Gobert for first place right now. For the Pacers, we got Sabonis coming in at an 86. He has an 87 three-point shot. I didn't know his three-point rating was actually this high. It was kind of surprising. Uh, it only took him three attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Pelicans, we got Brandon Ingram uh, coming in at an 87, 83 three-point shot. It took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Pistons, we got Blake Griffin coming in at an 83 overall. He has a 78 three-point shot, and it took him 11 attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Raptors, we got Kyle Lowry coming in at an 86, the 79 three-point rating. I think that three-point rating is a little too low. I mean, Kyle Lowry's a great three-point shooter, but it only took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Rockets, we got John Wall. He's an 84 overall, a 72 three-point rating, and it took him four attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Spurs, we got DeMar DeRozan coming in at an 87. He has a 74 three-point rating, and it took him 10 attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Suns, we got Chris Paul. He was actually a higher overall than Devin Booker. 
Coming in at an 87 with a 77 three-point, it took him four attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Oklahoma City Thunder, we got Shea Gilgis Alexander coming in at an 84 overall and a 75 three-point rating. It took him five attempts to hit a half-court shot. For the Timberwolves, we got Carl Anthony Towns coming in at a 90 overall and 84 three-point rating. It took him 19 attempts to hit a half-court shot, so one of the higher on the list. For the Trailblazers, we got Damian Lillard coming in at a 94, 86 three-point rating. It took him two attempts to a half-court shot. Uh, for the Warriors, of course, we got Steph Curry, 95 overall, 99 three-point rating. And it took him two attempts to hit a half-court shot. And then finally, for the Wizards, we got Bradley Beal coming in at an 88 overall, 77 three-point rating. And it took him three attempts to a half-court shot, the same number that's on the back of his jersey. Uh, so all in all, it actually wasn't too difficult for any of the players to hit a half-court shot. I mean, De'Aaron Fox with 24 attempts, Drummond, Zach Levine with 22, and, and Towns with 19 is a little high. I thought it was going to take a lot longer after the first few players because of how high the attempts were. And then players just started hitting in like two attempts, uh, two, two to like five attempts. It was pretty crazy. But we have two winners of the competition in Rudy Gobert and Nikola Jokic, both only taking one attempt to hit a half-court shot. If I were to choose a player to win at the beginning of this, I definitely would not take Rudy Gobert. I thought he would have came last. I thought it would have taken him 2,000 attempts to hit a shot. But apparently, it only takes him one. And then, of course, as I said earlier in last place, uh, with 24 attempts, we got De'Aaron Fox. But that's going to be it for this video. Again, make sure you smash the like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already on our way to 500,000 subscribers. This has been your boy, Smeekwell, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. You will ever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breaststrokes. Cut throat from the low, low window.